hello fellow fashion designers welcome back to my channel lumsy souls it's your girl lumsy here i'm back again with another video today's sewing tutorial is how to make this three in one booboo gown it's a very simple gown to make and so it's beginner friendly and it's a very nice sewing project to make for your sew to sell business as your clients can you know tie this and have this one into three ways you can tie this to have fitting on it or you can loosen the, the ruche in front so your clients will maximize this dress as they can tie this or they will loosen it as i'm loosening it like this if she doesn't want the ruche in front and she wants it long she can loosen this this place as you can see how i'm loosening it if she loosens it it will be longer for her and the ruche will not be too gathered like that as you can see so after sewing tying it she can put that inside so the rope will be hidden and if this is the type of video you're looking for then this is the right place because i'm going to be making this booboo gown tutorial very very detailed so guys let's go into today's sewing tutorial to start this sewing tutorial first of all i will tell you the type of fabric you need and the amount of fabric you need for this booboo dress for this particular booboo gown I suggest you use chiffon fabric. Chiffon fabric drapes very well and suits this type of style. But you can actually use satin, you can use um, crepe, you can use all those type of drapey fabrics, but they will not fall because of the drape on the neckline. It will not drape very well like how chiffon will drape well. So I suggest you use chiffon fabric and also chiffon fabric is light. So and if you use other fabrics, it will make it heavier. So I suggest you use chiffon fabric when it comes to this particular booboo gown. For the amount of fabric you will need for this booboo gown, you, it will be your length plus 7 times 2. So let's say the length of your client is 60 inches. You add 7 inches to that, which is 67 inches, and you times that by 2. This amount, I have already added sewing allowance to it, hemming allowance to it. But I would suggest that if you're making this for your sew to sell business, you use the length of average 62 inches. 62 inches plus 7 inches would give you 69. Then you times 69 by 2. So as you can see, 69 inches is very long for us to put on a table and do this. So I'm just going to show you how, what how you're going to fold it now you're going to cut your 69 inches into two don't make it a long fabric like that you're going to cut 69 inches 69 inches and i would suggest you use chiffons that are by 60 that way it will be okay for you that's that is when you fold it like this it should be 30 inches in width so what how you're going to fold this is this is the lengthwise of the fabric you have you're going to fold it like this into two making it after folding it it will be 30 inches i hope you understand what i mean so now you're going to make one to have a fold and the other one will not have a fold can you see what i did you're going to be marking on this fabric because if i mark on this fabric you will not see it so i'll just get a pattern paper and we i show you how you're going to cut it now this is the fabric I will be using and as you can see I have folded this is for the back and this is for the front. So first you square out a line where you're starting from. This is for you to enable you to have sewing allowance for the neckline. So I'm going to square this out like this. So like I said this booboo is a one size fits all. Actually it's very very nice for your sew to sell business. So all the measurements I'm going to be taking now is standard for me. That's how I do it for my ready to wear. So the first thing I would do is coming from the center back. Remember, this is the center back. I will come in here three inches and I will mark it. Next thing I would do is to come to this place. I would have said you measure the sleeve length, but there's no need for that because we are using the whole 30 inches that we have folded. So from this place, you're going to be coming in 9 inches and you mark it here. 
this nine inches is where your sleeve is going to be coming out from this is where the sleeve will come out from so all these places is the shoulder and the neckline the sleeve will come out from this place and the sleeve will always be on, at the elbow like that make sure you notch this line because it's very important so that you know where you're going to stop when you're sewing it so i'm going to go ahead and notch this here next we're going to do is to come down the neck depth for the back the neck depth you're using for the back is 1.5 so you mark it here like this 1.5 for the hem you guys know if you have been watching my videos you will know how many inches i take for the hem i maintain that because for my ready to wear this is what works for me so at the hem also i'm going to be coming in from the center back i'm going to come in 14 inches and i'll mark that here with this 14 inches you will be it, it will be free on anybody to wear it so i'm going to connect this line from this place so you just go ahead and just you know use your free hand and do this because this is actually very long <laughs> so you can use your i'll go ahead and cut out this so the next thing i would do is to cut the neckline for the back i'll hold the two of them together and cut it but actually it's for the back that i'm cutting so i'll just go ahead and cut this good now the next thing i will do is to set the back aside so now this has a belt on it it has a rope inside that you will tie it and that's what will give you the shape so what you will do is to come down from the neckline you come down 15.5 inches somewhere here this works for all sizes also i told you anything i'm doing here is one size fits all so that if it will be good for your soul to sell business so now for the front remember we have one inch sewing allowance actually if you didn't have any sewing allowance here you're supposed to come in eight inches but because we have one inch sewing allowance here we're going to come in nine inches so from here to here will be nine inches and from here to here would be 15.5 inches so you're going to mark this here either you just you know hold it here and mark the notch or you come to this place and do the same thing you have done to the other side so let me just mark this here so with this you know where you're going to place your belt your rope for the front neckline i'm going to come down from this place nine inches like this nine inches and remember we have one inch on the center front so i'm going to come in one inch and mark it like this and then i'm going to connect this to this place so you connect this like this can you guys see now pay attention to how we're going to cut the neckline for the front so you're just going to go ahead and cut this and you snip this this way just half inch in like that can you guys see so for the sewing tutorial i have gone ahead and cut out facing for the back so make sure you notch where you want the length to stop so from the hemline you're going to be coming up one inch and you notch it so i'll go to the machine and first of all i'm going to sew the neckline the back neckline i'll sew it and also i will hem it so you go ahead and stop where you have notched so, so you fold it once and fold again and sew that for the front you either use bias to tape this or you can overlock this place and fold it like this can you see either of the two either you use bias to bind this or you overlock this and sew it like this so whichever one you want to do you prefer you go ahead and do it that way and again you come here and you fold this like this can you see this comes this way and this one comes that way can you see what i have done yes so that's what you go ahead and do so for the front i've gone ahead to use hemming gum to hold this now note that this is actually for this sewing tutorial for my sew to sew business i don't even buy this as an option because i don't want it to unravel 
when the client is wearing it. I'm just doing this for the sake of this tutorial. So I have gone ahead and done this like this. The next thing you will go to do is you go ahead and sew this close. After sewing it close, you will now make channels for your rope. You will now make channels for the rope. Remember, don't forget, the first thing you do is to hem this. You must hem this before you close the center front. Very important. You must hem this and you must close and work on the neckline before you go ahead and close the center front. As you can see, I've gone ahead and sewn it and have made the channels for the rope. So you go ahead and fix the rope where you have made a mark for the rope. You fix the rope for the fitting. So I've also gone ahead and joined the neckline, the shoulder neckline. As you can see, I added the facing for this and I used the facing to turn the front. Can you guys see how neat this is? Yes. And I also, as I was joining this, I joined this and stopped at the notch that we made. Remember, I said this is where the sleeve is coming out from. So, next thing you will do is to go to your machine and sew in the hemline for the sleeve. So, you go and sew the hemline for the sleeve. Can you guys see? Yes. When you sew it, there will now be a space here where your sleeve will come out. So, then you now go ahead and join the side seam after closing the side seam and you're done with everything you're going to insert a rope inside this place so you're going to start from here make a rope that is as long as this with some extra a little bit of um, some extra inches in case the person wants to leave it straight without the ruche in the front so you what you would do is use your office pin after making the rope then you use your office pin and pass this this way and then turn it and pass it here so the rope should come out in front like this and this is where you're going to tie it so by the time you uh, ruche this like this you will not see any rope here the rope you're going to see is going to be this way so guys with this we have come to the end of today's video if you haven't given this video a thumbs up on this is your first time joining remember to subscribe hit on the notification bell icon and don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section i'll see you um, in my next video bye bye yeah.